Good morning. I'm Dr. Naughton, and we're at Highland Springs High School. This is my 12th grade English class, and we're talking about thematic statements today. Okay, so here's your template. Remember in red, what was in red on the last slide? The title, Romeo and Juliet. Here's our author, poet, or playwright. And then here is just a, a statement that you can always use, presents the idea that. And then here's your position, your take on one of those thematic topics. Easy, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. All right, so we're going to practice it. We're going to practice it on a really easy poem, okay? Just so I can make sure that you know what is going on. These are yours to keep. If you'd like to write all over them, that would be a great idea. Okay, so since you guys read to me the other day, like you were responsible for reading your poems, I'm gonna read this one to you. Okay, so this is Emily Dickinson, and this is her poem, Success. Well, they give Emily Dickinson's poems titles. She didn't actually. So um, this is kind of a made-up title for this poem. Okay, success is counted sweetest by those who never succeed. To comprehend a nectar requires sorest need. Not one of all the purple hosts who took the flag today can tell the definition so clear of victory. As he defeated dying on whose forbidden ear the distant strains of triumph burst agonized and clear. All right, so what's this poem about? Okay, people who don't usually win, finally getting there. Okay, so that's what the poem's about. All right, so now let's shift into the theme of this because there's a little bit more here than what Seth has given us. So we're going to take what Seth gave us and we're going to take it further. What's the theme here? Well, that's the thematic topic, right? So we would turn our thematic topic into our theme. So how are we going to do that? What are we going to say? In success, because we will give it that title since it's on our poem. OK, who is our Emily poet? Dickinson. Emily Dickinson presents the idea that Seth says overcoming. What else is in this poem? All right, those that overcome defeat could truly, are the ones who truly appreciate success. All right, you're getting there, you're getting there, but she says something here. Let's look at the second stanza, okay? Not one of all the purple hosts. So this is a this is a battle. All right, this is a war. So these are people in a war, and she's saying here that the one who understands victory is what the the not the winner, not the winner this time. Right. So it's the loser, right? So what is she saying about people who are successful? What, 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 what? Okay, so what about the losers when they finally succeed? It feels more like an accomplishment. Ah, so we got some appreciation, we got some accomplishment here, right? Okay, so let's take that back, let's talk about victory, let's talk about accomplishment. All right, let's see if we can work this. Appreciation. I heard what I, well said here. I heard losers. I heard overcome. Okay, what else? What else can we work into our theme? <coughs> Accomplishments. What about understand? I heard that. Okay. 
So give me a position on this. Who truly understands what it feels like to succeed? The what? The underdogs. The underdogs, the losers. All right, so turn this into a position for me. Go ahead and complete that theme for me. Write it down right on your poem, what you would say. You got all the parts, now you just have to put it together. Who truly understands what it means to win? Think about this in your own life, guys. If you're successful, 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 what do you start expecting? Failure. You start expecting failure if you have a pathway of success? Yeah, that's pretty pessimistic there, Rex. All right, success, success, su <laughs> success. All right, what if you fail, 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 and you finally win? Why does it feel amazing? Because you thought you couldn't do it, so like the feeling of overcoming it is like uplifting. Perfect. And then what did you say? I said you value it more. You value it more. Hmm. Hmm. Mm -hmm. So maybe we could work that into a theme. All right, everybody ready to give me one? saw that pencil down. I know you're ready. I like it. All right, I saw some good ones. All right, Naya, start us off. Okay. And success, Emily Dickinson presents the idea that underdogs are more appreciative, granting them true victory in the end. Good. All right, Seth, <laughs> give us yours. In the song Success, Emily Dickinson presents the idea that only those who experience loss can truly appreciate victory. Good. Tyrone, you were on your way to a really good one, but... Not fit. We'll come back to you. All right. Let's see. Who else had? Um, who else did I see when I was walking by? Oh, Miss Destiny Stroy. In success, Emily Dickinson presents the idea that losers understand and appreciate accomplishments when overcoming a failure. Okay. So they appreciate it more, right? Because yeah. they've failed and failed, and then they finally have that sweet taste of victory the sweet taste of victory all right so do we have a better understanding of themes and thematic topics yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay it is critical that you understand this all right so we're going to keep working on it all next semester you got it okay loud and proud tyrone in success emily dickinson presents the idea that true victory can only come from one that struggle fall short or fail then and only then can one, ex can one experience the true feeling of success. Okay. I like Tyrone's example because it's got two sentences. Can, does a theme have to be limited to one? No. No, it can be two. I wouldn't drag it out more than two, okay? But by adding those details, the struggle, which I really like, I like the wording there, you can have two sentences. So you can use this template. You can expand upon it just like Tyrone did. Um, but that's short and sweet. That'll work. You want for a longer paper, 
for a longer essay, you might want to do what Tyrone did. Okay? All right. Are we good with this? Because we're shifting to our next thing. All right? So speaking of papers, speaking of papers, how are the essays coming? They are coming. Good. Good. So I have a little activity for you to see if we understand this 11 sentence body paragraph, okay? So I wrote you a paragraph. I wrote you a thesis statement right here. And then I want you to put this paragraph together the way that it makes the most sense. So the highlighted one that you're going to see is my thesis statement. And then this is actually the second body paragraph of an essay. Okay? So put it together. See if you see where all parts and pieces go. And then I'll bring you the key. For my essay portrayed the views of religion. So, are these all different themes? No, it's one thing we had to make a paragraph. Wait, this is a quote. <laughs> Can I see the theme? I think I it's, it's a religion. I think it's quote. That's the it's topic, bro. Yeah. What if we learn? Theme, quote, explanation, and um, <laughs> proof. Well, I want to put them in the middle. Do, do, do she use the, the so everybody can see? Yeah. Listen a second, so where, 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 where could be the first? The first? That would probably be. Mm. But this one be somewhere down here. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know what these. They tell you what to talk about. Put it up. I'm going to tell you what to say. You know how soon you're going to see the whole time. You see anything about it? Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> so this paragraph is all about him. This body paragraph is all about him. So where's my topic sentence? So if this is my thesis, right? Mm -hmm. So then I'm pulling. So my topic should say something about St. John, so you can narrow it down. Okay, so let me give you a little hint here. If this is my thesis statement, I've already done my paragraph about Helen, right? So this is my second paragraph, my second person. So it might need, oh, good, good, good. Nice transition there, right? I wouldn't. I would have made it for two. Yeah. All right. Wait a second, guys. Let's get let's get thinking here first. All right. Here's my thesis statement. So my first my first body paragraph, my first eleven sentence body paragraph was about which one of them? But we've got you forgot. You got to have a topic sentence, right? You got to introduce. You got to tell me who we're talking about here. Thank you for joining our classroom today to learn about thematic topics and body paragraphs. Spring